a quick assembly tip on the rear surround for the Beetle. Uh, the hardest part I've found is to get this little piece of fiberglass, that the flange that sticks out about to here, to get that to slide in on some cars. This particular one, go ahead and open this up. This gap is very tight as it's cut out of the mold. You know, you're going to run this detail line right here. You're going to keep it running with the little piece of plastic from the old window anyway, so you've got room. You're going to fill this with panel bond. You can go as low as you need to go so that you can lift this and get this leading edge inside of the two layers of metal here, and I'll show you how this comes apart at the end. The other thing I do is once this height is established, you know where this is going to be, this edge of the fiberglass. So I lift with my hand on the outside edge here, and you can see my little T-brace underneath here. I have not bolted all this together yet. It's loose, you know, loose bolted so that I can get the tray in at the bottom at the end, right? So anyway, I, I, I pull this ledge up vertically, up to meet here. So this gap is almost zero, maybe a sixteenth of an inch or so. So I pull this up, and then I wedge under this corner a little piece of metal just to hold it wherever I, wherever this edge ends up. I want to freeze the wall, right? So I put a little piece of metal there, and then I double check my width left to right. And you see this one's got about a quarter of an inch here. I want to see a quarter inch on the other side as well. So if the other side is three eighths, like this one probably is, because I usually see a little bit more of a gap, just take a screwdriver and pry, you know, left to right, get this centered, and then you can rivet on the other side of this wall, you know, going this way into this, uh, into this seat edge, just like we normally do. But that gets you the right height of your Smith front wall. It gets your height for this uh, lined up. It gets everything where you want it before you install all the side braces. So I'll pull this off. Hopefully I can show you how this works with one hand. There you go. See how hard this is? You, gotta, you have to get this edge inside of these two. You can lift this easily, but this edge wants to stick on this corner here. And right now, you know, look at you can see the height difference. So in order to do that, you're going for, I can't do it with one hand, but you're going to pull this, open up this top gap here so that this thing can literally move up and down a little bit to help you get this corner in. Hope that helps. That's how I do the rear surround. And remember the last step of the rear surround video, I pre-install the carpet on the rear surround after I cut the opening for the window. So cut the opening for the window, install the carpet from the, you know, from the cabin side, glue it in place, leave a little room on your fiberglass when you do the carpet, leave a little room here of bare fiberglass so you can panel bond here and here and not have carpet between the edges. There you go, hope that helps.